Well, hey there, this is Scott, and I wanted to record this quick video to talk about a situation that we're seeing with some of the Azure exams. Particularly, this is around the performance tests that are part of the AZ100 and AZ300 series of exams. This includes 300, 302, 100, 101. Uh, those exams all now contain labs or can potentially contain labs. Now, what are labs? Well, labs have also been called performance-based testing, and they're basically live Azure environments that spin up while you're in the process of doing the test, and you have to perform some tasks inside of the Azure environment in order to pass the test. Some people are reporting having a few of these environments that are during the testing basis. Um, and so if any of these labs are causing problems, then obviously it's impacting your ability to take a test. So I'm seeing within the Facebook group for the unofficial Azure user group, lots of reports. I mean, not just one or two, but a dozen plus reports of people who've had problems taking these performance tests. It's a bit unclear whether people were doing that inside of a testing center or from home. A lot of these reports are people who take the Microsoft test from home because typically you have to run some type of software, make sure your environment is compatible, and you know before you can, you can take the real test, you have to make sure your systems are compatible. But then when the real test starts, they're reporting various problems. Now, I saw this firsthand when I was taking some of these tests at Microsoft Ignite. During the Ignite uh, in September 2018, I took the AZ100 test in beta. I also took the 300 test at the same time, but I took the 100 test in beta and I didn't have any lab questions as part of this test. I've found out later that they've added labs after the fact to this. But I saw a gentleman in the row in front of me who had lab questions and I presume he was taking the 101 test at that time. And he was having so many problems they had to bring in people. It was a bit disruptive to have uh, Microsoft employees coming into the room, checking the computer, checking something, trying to reconnect. They would go out of the room, come back in the room. So I witnessed firsthand somebody having problems with lab questions as far back as September. Now we've got, again, more than a dozen reports within the Azure user group of people who've taken these tests, even as recent as this week, still reporting issues with the labs. For instance, Gunter, says that he had a very bad experience with the AZ-102 exam. The test crashed several times, and this must have been from home because he had no proctor to call and ask for help. There was nobody there. Um, he had to open a chat, and it took, basically, nobody could help him, and he only got 14 questions done before the exam. Basically, the timer ran out, and uh, he, he's going to have to open a ticket, basically. Uh, Mohit also saying for the AZ300 Azure Architect Technologies test, he was trying to um, run this test. They have to connect to a remote machine, and the remote machine wasn't responding. And the exam was paused, but they had to then unpause it in order for tech support to look at it. It took them more than an hour to fix the issue, so eventually it did get fixed. But he only had 20 minutes remaining to finish the entire test. Loris also saying AZ300, labs failed and failed some more. So obviously it, it, it happened multiple times. And things that did work took too long to deploy. So it's, you, you're asked to being deploy a virtual machine, and then you're sitting there for 15 minutes waiting for the virtual machine to deploy. So we're seeing lots and lots of reports of people. So keep this in mind, that the exams have labs, and um, if you take it from home, you have a higher percentage chance of it not working, it seems. And so I'm not sure, hopefully Microsoft is looking into this seriously, removing those lab questions if they're not working or improving their environment. But obviously it's a very disappointing experience uh, for anyone who has to go through that. Anyways, I just wanted to point this out to you. There's nothing really we can do, right? I mean, Microsoft and Pearson View have to take care of this, but uh, you should know that this is happening and not be surprised when you go into this experience that something can go sideways because it's happening to a lot of people.